All right, what's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. We are back out here with the Axial SCX6, which is their brand new sixth scale Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I believe it is the JLU, so pretty dang awesome rig here. We're gonna go run it on some rocks out in Sand Hollow and we're actually on the Arrowhead Canyon Trail. So we're gonna go check out some real tough terrain with this thing. I actually parked up on the side of the canyon and we're gonna drive down into the bottom. So let's go check it out. So let's just get right into some details on this truck. Um, I believe the retail is supposed to be somewhere around $1,099 for these things. Now, obviously that's not inexpensive. However, I really think you're getting a pretty awesome truck for what you're paying for. Obviously, fifth scales are never going to be cheap just because the pure amount of materials that goes into these things. This is a big truck with some serious heavy duty components. The links themselves, I think were, I was told that they are 10 millimeters thick. So some real heavy duty metal parts there. The servos as well as the electronics, the uh, brushless motor and ESC combo for a fifth scale truck and it's a censored brushless system. It is awesome and it crawls great. Plus a two speed transmission right out of the box with a three channel radio. I really think you're getting what you pay for with this thing and the performance is there. This thing absolutely crawls great. It's really surprised me in my first trip out with it. So I think if you have the means and you're able to and you're wondering if it's worth it, I would absolutely say that it is worth it. This is a very cool truck, great big shocks, like I mentioned, two-speed transmission. I would love to see some dig function available for it and I cannot wait to see what the aftermarket options are gonna be for tires. All right guys, this is a big heavy truck coming downhill, tons of drag brake available due to the low gearing and the awesome censored brushless system in here from Spectrum, 120 amp ESC. From what I've heard is it is capable of running 4S, it won't burn it up, but Axial only recommends 3S for this truck. So I don't want this thing to come flying off of here, nice and controlled wheel speed, and I don't want it to come rolling into my face. So straighten it back up, set it down, this is an off camber, very steep drop here, and the truck is definitely forward weight biased. I've got two 5,000 milliamp 3S packs mounted to each slider, which is really cool because you can strap two batteries inside this thing and get twice the runtime. Uh, they are not both hooked up to the ESC at the same time. I just run them in there and then I switched batteries before I started this trail. You know what? Let's see if we can just side hill through this. I think we can. I don't really want to run over that bush right here, but I guess we got to do what we got to do. That was the worst part of it. It's going to come down and settle back out right here on this ledge that's just the right width for this truck. That was a cool trail. And here we go. It's going to get narrow up here for this truck. It's as wide as the truck is. And then we got to get the front end work down. I think we're gonna stop right there and take it back up. Sweet. That was a cool line. That just happened to work out just about perfect. It's got headlights and tail lights. Looks just like the real Wranglers do out on the trail. Well, this is uh, interesting. That sucks, now my feet are all wet. So this mud is like quicksand out here. That's interesting. <laughs> we're gonna see if we can get the Jeep through here though. I was not expecting my foot to sink down a foot right there. Oh, we're in second gear. Let's go ahead and grab first. Now it's gonna crawl on up. Good thing we got those BFG mud trains on there. Wow, they got the traction and cruised right over that. All right, I think I found a little obstacle here that's just right for this six scale Jeep. It's just gonna be able to squeeze down between those rocks we're going to bring it up and then turn driver out. So here we are getting the front end up. We're going to get the slider as high as we can and then start our turn. And that driver rear is going to help this thing pivot right around. And then it should pop right up out of there right about now. Couldn't have planned that better. All right, guys, I really want this to work, but with the size of the body on this, I just don't know if it's gonna clear. Uh, not quite. Like it is within millimeters of working. 
And then the servo doesn't like it either. We're on the rear bumper is what's happening. Let's take another look. So here we are, got our front end wedged in here and the rear bumper is just not letting us make progression as well as traction is an issue. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna lose the wall. Come on, Jeep. Only thing holding us up right now is the bumper. Come on, Jeep, come on. Yes, yes, yes. This is about as hardcore as you can get with this thing. Okay guys, that's about the limit of what this thing can do. Um, I think I'm gonna pull it out of here because I don't want to break a servo or something. And it's pretty bound up. Uh, valiant effort by that six scale Jeep though. That thing did awesome in there and it almost got it. Like I say, if it just had a little bit different size body or even just a different style, uh, it might've worked. So those last two obstacles are really the style of crawling that I like to do. And this thing is really surprising me at how actually good it is. Like I understand that limitation is mostly the body running into stuff. Right here, I'm running around in second gear. You guys can see a little more wheel speed that it has. Cruise through the sand, no problem. Pretty fun to rip around in second gear, no doubt. But the great part is once you're ready, just hit your little controller button there and then go back to first gear so you can crawl. So let's grab second gear here. Got a good little bump and wheel speed. Back into first and we're crawling again. I think instead of running this next crack, we're just gonna jump up on top of the ridge on the side of the Jeep and see if we can't just jump up and out of here. Cause it's a really steep wall bowl. I just don't think it's gonna get out of it. That was it. Back to first gear. So you can see how that two-speed transmission really comes in and is helpful, especially when you got slick tires, not a lot of traction, you gotta bump through stuff. Now, if you're coming down something steep, I highly recommend using first gear because it really allows the truck to just creep a lot better. Because it has a lot more gear reduction, if you leave it in second gear, it just kind of runs down the hill. The drag brake isn't as effective it rolls a little bit easier. What a perfect little canyon to go test this truck and find out its capabilities. This has been awesome. So we're gonna get up on the passenger side here. There we go, got that rear passenger up. Come back driver. This thing looks so good on the trail. I love the straight axles instead of portals. Great work, Axial. I know that this truck can do this, but this is like the absolute limit of what it's capable of. It's technical, you gotta get your tire placement just right.
That was it. That was it. Come on, Jeep. Not quite. I think our servo's a little unhappy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. That driver rear is trapped in the driver hole. Just a small reset like that. Oh, it's right here. It made it to the top. Yes! And the Jeep got it done. That was awesome. Well guys, we're gonna call it the end of the line for the SCX6 in this canyon at least. This thing put up a hell of a fight and it did awesome on a lot of really hard obstacles. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage showing what this truck is actually capable of. Like I say, I think it's absolutely worth it. This thing is awesome and I'm hoping to have one in my garage soon. My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Be sure to hit the affiliate links down below. I will leave one down below for this truck specifically. So if you buy one through there, it helps support the channel. I greatly appreciate your guys' time. Keep the rubber side down.